What is a drive shaft? You might be familiar with the concept of longitudinal transmission. For the avoidance of doubt, the drive shaft is the component of your car that runs beneath its surface and is in charge of transmitting rotation from your transmission to your back axle. Because of this, you almost never see this feature with a front wheel drive car. Only four wheel drive, all wheel drive, and rear wheel drive vehicles. The drive shaft may also join the clutch and gearbox if the transmission is located inside the car. Generally speaking, the drive shaft's main job is to transfer the engine's power without causing any changes to the various parts of the car. Let's talk about bad drive shaft symptoms today. What signs would point to a failing drive shaft? It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. car vibration. Any unusual vibration or movement while traveling long distances at a high speed is a warning sign. This might be a sign that the transmission shaft's bearings are so worn out that they allow the shaft to deviate from its axis with a wider range of motion than usual. Although the drive shaft rotates three to four times faster than the wheels do, the sensation of an unbalanced wheel will occur much more frequently. When you experience this symptom, you should be alert because it might be a precursor to drive shaft or transmission failure. In this case, you need to get in touch with a mechanic right away so they can figure out which part of the drive shaft is broken and replace it to prevent further damage to the car. Abnormal noises. Another sign that there is a problem with the drive shaft is unusual noises. The drive shaft's ability to rotate properly may be hampered by worn out or failing drive shaft U joints, bushings, or bearings that support the drive shaft. As a result, the vehicle may make odd rattling, clunking, scraping, or even squeaky noises from below. A squeaking sound at low speeds can also be caused by an unlubricated U-joint. Particularly clicking or knocking noises may indicate a bad CV joint. These and other noises indicate that the car needs to be serviced as soon as possible. Switching gear bad sound. The shaft's bearings must be able to move freely in order to change gear in reverse, but they cannot do so because doing so causes them to stop. It's possible that this indicates the wear threshold mentioned in the previous part, not only for lubrication, but also to prevent further damage, visit a mechanic. Turning problems. Another telltale sign of a bad drive shaft is difficulty turning the car. Wheels that can't turn properly due to a broken drive shaft can cause you problems when attempting to make turns. Your overall ability to control the car is limited by this problem. For safe driving and continued use of the vehicle, you must address any issues that prevent you from operating the car properly as soon as possible. Transmission fluid leaks. When transmission fluid begins to leak from behind your drive shaft, this is another sign that it is having problems. The aforementioned vibration has damaged the output shaft and the transmission shaft, causing a leak in the transmission fluid. There is no getting around the fact that you need a mechanic to check the transmission and look into the leak's origin. Shuttering during acceleration. When accelerating from low speed or from a stop, experiencing a noticeable shutter can also indicate that a drive shaft component is failing. The drive shaft's faulty center bearing or a loose U-joint could be to blame for the sluggish acceleration. The worn-out U-joint may cause the car to tremble and make noises as well. Such problems should be examined as soon as possible by a qualified mechanic. How much does a drive shaft replacement cost? Between $300 and $800 is the typical drive shaft replacement cost for rear-wheel drive cars. There is also an additional $150 to $200 for labor on top of the typical part cost. Of course, the cost will be higher if your vehicle is an all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive and needs extensive repairs. For the typical household mechanic, some drivetrain repairs are simple. Without much experience and for less money, you could simply add more lubrication to a joint. To ensure on-road safety, more involved repairs should be handled by a qualified mechanic. 